But I really want to, I mean, oh, I think I want to just, you know, spray this on. I'm going to dinner, a little dinner date. Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Nicole and today we are doing a haul, not just any clothing hauls, not a clothing haul, we're going to be doing a perfume haul. So y'all, I've been working on getting my collection up because I really do love to smell good. Like, who doesn't like to smell good? Like, I, I want to smell good everywhere I go. So, I thought why not come on here and show you guys all of my favorite scents that I have been using. New scents that I just purchased. Scents that are perfect for the summertime. Scents that will actually last long. It's one thing to buy perfume, but like... Who wants to buy a perfume or spend a good coin on perfume and it don't even last long like girl no we need scents that are going to last long since that we can layer since they are perfect for the nighttime and the daytime if you are new here make sure you click that subscribe button I like this video leave a comment comment down below if you have one of these scents or if you're interested in purchasing one of them i will leave the links down below so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so the first scent that we're going to be getting into is a brand new scent i've had it for a couple days now and i've worn it every single day just to test it out and this is actually by rebel sense thanks thanks to my girl kyra okay y'all don't watch kyra i'm on youtube i don't know what you're doing that's my girl she gonna put you on something she gonna make you spend a coin she gonna she can just it's the influence okay the influencers be influencing just they just do so um yes this is one of rebel sense new um since they have a collection that they just came out with i think they have like four or five new scents on there they also sell like luxury perfumes which is where i get pretty much all my other ones from which i'm going to show y'all but this is in, and look at the packaging love the way it was packaged honey i was actually very shocked i thought it was just gonna come wrapped so this is in the scent onyx and this was a blind buy so you know you don't find rebel scents in stores it's online only and i had to just go off of what sis was saying and i read the description there was probably like two reviews and i was like okay whatever i'm sold like i'm sold look how nice the bottle looks like that looks so nice i love that gold and like that burgundy kind of purple brownish top really nice in the perfect size I have worn it even though I haven't had it long like <sighs> this smells so good and I really feel like it smells similar to something that I've worn before but I cannot put my finger on it so this is a musky floral scent I love floral scents as long as they're not like too like fruity floral and this is like perfect like it gives you that sexy that grown and sexy vibe with a little bit of like sweet not sweet not sweet but like delicate like flowers but it's like a musky oh i love musk like i, I just love musk and citrus you can smell the citrus in this you you can it's not like too like strong but you can smell it like it's a slight like citrusy kind of scent to it but it's still it's just I don't know how to explain it, y'all. It just smells so good. Um, so raspberries in here, jasmine, gardenia, amber, and honey. Because it's like that musky kind of scent to it, I would say more so. I would wear it more so like in the afternoon, like at nighttime. But honestly, you can wear it any time of the day. Like it just smells so good. I love it. It actually does last long. Like I know I have not had these. These just came out probably what, like a couple weeks ago? But I've been wearing it. I wore it like two or three days in a row and it actually lasts. I love it. I don't even want to take it out of how it came. Which I probably will eventually. But I just think this is really cute. And especially if you're going to travel, like these are perfect. Like you can literally just put it in the suitcase without having to worry about like just throwing it in there and the top coming off. Like it's just perfect. It smells so good. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. The next scent that I have here is Hex. This is also in the Rebel Sense collection. And of course, I love this one as well. The bottle looks the same as the Onyx. It just has like a black base with a rose gold top and rose gold lettering. Look how pretty that is this again is another floral scent i love floral scents but like i said i like them when they're delicate but they also have like a sexy grown like vibe to it and this is perfect like it's just it smells so good this is a warm floral and the keynotes in this is bergamot orange blossom jasmine vanilla and white musk and honey if it has vanilla in it and musk 
excuse me yes ma'am yes. so the next scent is daisy by mark jacobs i've actually been having my eye on this one for a while like when i get my scents from rebel Scents, i always look at this one and i read the reviews but then i'm just like eh, i don't know do i want it? do i not is it too flowery but i actually do really like this scent i wore it tested it out it works really well last long i feel like this is a scent i feel like you can layer with as well it is a powdery scent so if you don't like like it doesn't smell like baby powder but it has that powdery smell if you know what i'm talking about so if you don't like powdery scents like at all i would say if you just don't like powdery scents in general do not buy this then again that fruity and that floral comes into play so it kind of balances itself out so that's why i decided to keep it because at first i was like mm, is it too powdery i don't know but no this smells really well yeah this smells really good I did wear it during the day it did last long again it has that good mixture of the powdery mixed with the fruity and the floral like it smells really good and i love the bottle like it's just so nice really cute and i smell this it just gives me like that morning day vibe like if you're like heading out for brunch or wherever you're going in the morning running errands like this gives you like that fresh but not too musky type of scent and this actually doesn't it doesn't have well no it does have musk in it yeah musk is in this but it does it's not like overly to where it's like i'm about to go on like a sexy date or i'm like about to go out for the night like it gives me like that fresh sexy vibe for like during the day or like that so this scent is one of my top like it's just it's always going to be on my top i don't have that many fragrances <laughs> to say this is like my absolute favorite but this is definitely going to always probably be in my top five like this garden by dolce and cabana oh my gosh <sighs> this is a floral scent as well which i'm pretty sure you guys could tell that by the flower on the top um as you can see i am running low but I've had it for almost a year now. And let me tell you something. Y'all can't really see it. I wore this out. Okay. This has just a different scent. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's floral. But, you know what? Since I can't explain it, I got the notes right here. Key notes, key notes on this is coconut. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. It says Lang. Ylang. Y L A N G Ylang. Ylang. I'm not sure what that is. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it right, if you know. But this scent, mm, mm, I just have to smell it again. All I gotta say is you need this. This is a versatile scent. I will spray this on every single day. As you guys can see, I am running out. I, I definitely will be getting one of these. I'll probably get the bigger bottle. I think they have two other garden scents. Um, one in like a yellow bottle and then I think the other one is like in a green or a blue bottle. I'm not too sure But this one I'm just I'm never gonna turn my back on sis like she does me right. Okay I feel like this is probably one of my most complimented I can't I haven't been out too much with the other scents that I just showed you guys, but since I've had this for a while I get compliments on this all the time like oh girl what you got on like mmm that smell good baby don't change about a garden. I think, you know what it probably is? It's probably the coconut in here that's really like just, it gives it a different twist. Cause it's not a fruity scent, but it has that coconut in there to just, uh, it's just, it, it's perfect. Whoever came up with these scents did amazing. This is perfect, I love it. So the next fragrance that we have is the Versace Bright Crystal. This is a fruity scent. This bottle just threw me off when I first bought it. I was like, dang, the type is so big. <laughs> the top of it is so big, but this is what the bottle looks like. Really pretty and pink. It looks real, you know, glam. When I first smelled it, I didn't like it. But then I went back and I was just like smelling all these perfumes and I was just standing there forever. The girl in Sephora was trying to help me pick a scent. And at first I didn't really like it that much. It didn't just like jump out. If something does not like jump out to me, I'm probably not going to buy it. But I did get this one. Um, and I was pressed to get a scent that day. But anyways, so this is a fruity scent. And it is more so on the like it's, it's you know how I was saying like, you know, a scent can be fruity. Like it'll say fruity and floral, but it's more so like floral, not too fruity. This is like a little bit more fruity than I liked. I will probably only wear this one at night because it has that more like, I don't know, 
grown vibe to it which all of them do as i keep saying Ugh, i'm so annoying um but yeah i would definitely i wear this at night time i worn it mm, maybe three or four times it does last really long i will say that the versace scents smell really good but um yes so this is the bright crystal this is a floral and a fruity floral fruit the keynotes for this versace scent is lemon raspberry and amber i feel like the reason why I didn't like it at first was prob probably because of that like lemony smell, but it doesn't smell lemony. You can definitely smell the raspberry. You smell everything in here, but I don't know. It just giving me like an older, like older scent, like something that like it's just like a played out scent. I don't know, but I do like it. It's probably not my most favorite, but I do like it. Like I said, I would wear it at nighttime. Smells good. Gives you like that sophisticated smell. Yeah, I would say like a sophisticated type of vibe to it. Smells like something that's been around for a while. I'm pretty sure this thing's been around for a while. But I'm just saying like, it just smells like an older, fruity scent. So the next scent is Gucci Guilty. I'm pretty sure y'all have heard this scent a thousand times. Like, I don't use this scent that much. Because this is just strictly, like, I feel like this is just a nighttime scent. Like, it's just all the way. It honestly kind of gives that cologne type of scent to it. They actually have this as a warm floral. And I guess that's where it comes into play as, like, a perfume. Yes, it does have a floral vibe to it. But, like I said, it smells like musky. It just smells like musky cologne. Mandora, Mandora, pink pepper. I don't know what that is. I read that and I was like pink pepper I don't know what that is but this is sexy okay that's why I don't really wear it that much is because like I don't go out that much but if I am going out this is probably the scent that I would go for or the hex by the rebel Scents that has more like a nighttime vibe to it all right so we're gonna save the best for last this is my like I said I don't care how many perfumes I'm going to buy this is going to be my favorite scent YSL Libre Intense. This is my favorite. Definitely warm. It smells like vanilla, musky, like this is it. This is it. Again, when I wear this scent is majority of the time, I'm going to wear this at night. I would put this in the same category with the Gucci Guilty. This is a warm floral. Keynotes are lavender, orange blossom, orchid. This stands out when it comes to, what is it? What's in here? The orange blossom? That's what it is. It's that orange blossom. And it's not like when it says orange blossom, like of course it has a slight, when I say a hint of fruity, like a hint it doesn't smell like oranges or like citrusy but i think that's the scent that stands out the most and that i love the most about it it's so like nighttime vibe so it's like do i really want to i mean oh i think i want to just you know spray this on i'm going to dinner a little dinner date a little outing you know this this is the perfect scent for that like ugh. Love it. I'm trying to hold on to this bottle too. Because this one is probably on the more expensive side. This one and the uh, Dolce & Gabbana I think are probably the most expensive ones. I think. I'm not too sure. But next time I get this, when I run out, I'm going to get the bigger bottle. Alright y'all, so that is it for this perfume haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, okay? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Make sure that you click one of the links down below. Or maybe two of the links of these scents because i would not steer y'all wrong like these scents smell so good and they last long just they're just all around just really good fragrances so yes girl go put something in your cart go ahead and purchase it because you ain't gonna regret it you're just not going to regret it okay come back for more videos thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in my next one